Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use an email tracking system which I created using PHP on MySQL. What the system does is it tracks your email and tells you how many times your email was read, which device the email was open on, what time it was read, and also the location of the recipients when the email was read. So it's very simple and very easy to use. To use this application, you do need some prerequisites. You need a hosting and you need a MySQL database. Then after you have this prerequisite, the next thing you need to do is download the required files. When you download the required files, you have the following files. And the only one you need to open is the config file. When you open the config file, what you need to do is configure the following thing. So in your host name, you need to put in your host name, your username, password. That's Those are the database username and password and also the database name. You also need to put in the protocol of your domain it might be http or https but we are testing with a http domain for this tutorial one other thing you need to do is you need to indicate the folder parts in which you're saving the files you just downloaded from the default one is email tracker you might change it uh, but when you change the folder just make sure you change the parts in the config file as well so when you're done with this just save the configuration file and upload the downloaded files to your web server which i'm just going to do now after uploading the files and if you notice i uploaded my files into the email tracker folder again if you change the directory make sure you go back to the config file and change the directory in the config file as well so i'm just going to quickly walk you through my database this is my database and there are currently no tables in my database you do not need to create any tables. All you need to do is go to the index file. If you've configured everything correctly, your index file should appear similar to mine. If you go back to your database now, you will notice a table email log has been created for you. So you do not need to know any MySQL knowledge or how to create tables, everything is done for you. The next thing you need to do is put in your user ID. The user ID is not compulsory, but this same code can be used for sending mass emails as well. So for example, if you send in mass emails using either PHP or ASP.NET and your users have user ID, you can always include the user ID. And these fields can be dynamic uh, items as well. Let's say, for example, in PHP, if this is your variable for name, you can just literally put that variable there and it will automatically populate the name for you. But since we're not using any automated mass emailing system, we're just going to hard code everything. So the name is Tayyib. Uh, we're just going to use my name, the email, we're using this email address for this. And the subject for this email, this is a test. When you finish entering everything, just click on submit and it automatically generate a code which you use to track your emails. If you notice, it's automatically populated the URL for you. So that's why I said earlier when you need to ensure you don't change the folder. If you change the folder, you need to go to config and make sure you put the correct URL and also the protocol either HTTP or HTTPS. To test this code, just to be to be sure everything is working correctly, you can copy the link in the SRC and just paste it. If an image should download, then you're using the correct file. Okay, the next thing you need to do is copy the generated code and include it in your message. We're going to send this, this message using a PHP script, but you can use it in Outlook or any email client out there. You can embed it in your email signature, for example, in Outlook, and every single email you send is tracked. Okay, I already have a HTML email which I wrote earlier on, and I'm just going to paste my tracking code at the end of my HTML email and press and save it. So now I'm just going to send that email. I have sent the email, and we just have to wait for the email to arrive in my Outlook email client. Okay, if you can see, my email is here, and I'll just to ensure that the email is only tracked when open we're just going to refresh the index page before the email is open you can notice the email has not been tracked but now we're just going to open the email there you go the email is open now after refreshing the index page you will notice the email has been tracked and there you go uh, this is the name of the recipients we entered here the recipient's email address the subject of the email the location of the recipient i'm currently in london and the device information it doesn't clearly gives you the device information which i will be working on in the second version but 
from this you can tell which operating system the recipient is using and which email client which is outlook 2016. the email has been opened once uh, the date the email was sent the first time the email was opened okay now if we go navigate to another email and open that email so we've actually opened that email twice and if we refresh the index page the count is increased to twice and if you notice the last opened time has been updated as well so now i'm just going to go to my mobile client to open that email as well so now i've just opened it on my phone and we're just going to check now so what we need to do is refresh this page again if you notice the count is increased to three the last open date and time has been updated and if you check the device information has been changed to android which is the device i'm using and my operating system version as well so thank you very much for watching and let me know if you have any feedbacks or comments on the first version of this application.